Welcome to another Halcyon Tips and Tricks. This one is, again, less of a tip and trick, but more of an, a, a look, a deeper peek at one of the principles. I want to talk about radical inclusion. Because this is an easy one to get tripped up on. Kind of like how, you know, sometimes people always, when you tell them that they can't uh, call you a, a bad word on your, on your own web page, they go, whatever happened to freedom of speech, man? Like, no, no, no. Freedom of speech is, as, an, as a culture, as a country, you have the right to say whatever you want. You, you can't say wh whatever you want, wherever you want. And the same is true with radical inclusion. The basis of radical inclusion means that everybody is welcome at Burning Man. It's not just for cool people, it's not just for the people on the fringe, it's not just for people with feathers and cool outfits and fur. It's for everyone. Whatever it is that you want to express, that is welcome. I like to tell people that Burning Man is a place where you can do whatever you want that doesn't hurt other people. And people may not join you, but they'll hold your coat while you do it. And that's the attitude. So as people are doing this, you know, Death Guild, you know, Thunderdome, hitting each other with foam bat stuff, I've never participated in that. It has no interest in me. But I so appreciate that they put all that effort into creating that experience for people that do want it. That's one direction that the artistic flow grows. <laughs> Burning Man is an incredibly fertile landscape. It's, it's like a petri dish with super goo in it. And any creative impulse can grow and be supported. So you have violent stuff, you have fire stuff, you have explosion stuff, you have love stuff, you have yoga stuff, you have cooking stuff, you have art, everything. And that's what radical inclusion means. That this is a place where if you have a creative impulse, if you are letting something channel through you, then do it. There is no, mm, that's not quite mm, enough. No. Do it. What it doesn't mean is that every door is open all the time. And this occurs in a number of places. It doesn't mean that you can just walk into any camp and take anything that you want. It doesn't mean that somebody is obligated to gift to you. It doesn't mean that you can join a camp automatically. The default is the door is open. But that doesn't mean if you see a closed door, you don't need to knock, especially with intimacy. There is a weird gray area there because there's so much openness and so much freedom of expression and so much nudity that sometimes in the wee hours of intoxication, people cross the line. And it's important to remember that if you are having the line crossed on you, you do not have any sort of obligation to not harp on somebody's expression. F that. Just like in every part of the, of the world, we are in charge of our experience. So, radical inclusion, big picture. Craft your experience for the individual. Am I making sense? I don't want to hear any stories about you touching somebody's booby because that's the way you're expressing yourself. Ixne on the ube. All right. See you on the playa. I love you.